Hey YouTube, welcome back to Random Rye. My apologies for not being on here for a little while, but I promise you we have awesome lineup for you guys, starting with this thing right here. You are looking at the Dragon Ball Panorama World, released in 2009. This Panorama World comes in five boxes. It has five scenes, one in each box. Uh, and the scenes consist of, number one, the Tenkaichi Budokai stage. Two, the Corrin Tower. Three, Kami's Lookout. Four, West City. And five, the Kami House. So this one that you're looking at right here, um, I found in Tokyo. It was, uh, it was, it was a complete set, but it unfortunately it didn't come with the boxes. The one sitting behind it, the five boxes you see there, those actually contain another set of the Panorama World sealed in bags. And I was able to get that one from Sasebo from my buddy Nifam. Shout out to Nifam, thank you very much. But the, the reason why I'm doing this uh, review right now is because somebody actually, one of my buddies, Andre McNeil, shout out to Andre McNeil, he uh, asked me to, to buy this one that doesn't have the boxes. It is a complete set. It is in pristine condition. Um, and he agreed to let me use it before I hand it over to him so that I could do a nice review for you guys so we're gonna we're gonna get in here we're gonna take a look at every single scene and then i'm gonna fold it up for you guys and show you how it transforms into a giant dragon ball um because i'm gonna have to give it to him that way anyway so uh thank you guys for jumping on and uh see you in a second all right so we're gonna turn the turntables on let them spin a little bit so that you guys can see how it looks all the way around 360 it's really cool because it has like a it has storages for all of the clouds and all the extra pieces when we take them off and put them to get uh, put it back together um, you can place everything into its own little compartment so it so it'll fold up into a uh, into the Dragon Ball like we said earlier but there's a uh, box number one the Tenkaichi Budokai and then coming in box number two is a uh, car in there inside his tower. And this thing, it opens and closes. And if you look down in there, it's got the uh, the TP and the uh, the area down there where uh, Goku was fighting with uh, Tao Pai Pai. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, number three, box number three, you got... Uh, the Kami Lookout, and right now I have Vegeta and Piccolo in there, but I believe Vegeta and Goku come with this set. Really cool, it's got these little, uh, has all the little pillars, everything comes off and attaches, reattaches. Um, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's cool, it's pretty detailed. And then at, uh, number four... Let's see, let me swing around here. We got West City, where Bulma and Trunks are from. You know, all these detailed buildings in here. Check it out, it's really cool. We got the Capsule Corp uh, house, where they live. And you got a couple little ones in there as well. And it is the four star ball. So very, very fitting. If you guys can see closely, man, this, uh, this this set's pretty flawless. There's no uh, damages or anything on it, man. I was really happy when I found it. And there you go. The last one is the uh, Kami House. And this one comes with... Uh, actually, uh, yeah, this one comes with Krillin and, uh, and Master Roshi. So... I think I'm, I might be getting the characters and which boxes they come in a little bit mixed up. But we'll go over the boxes, too. But there you go. So Shenron comes with this one with the house and Master Roshi. I believe uh, Krillin comes with him as well. But as you can see, he's chilling over here with uh, with Goku. But yeah, overall, this thing is sick, man. It's it's uh, 2009, so it's pretty old. This is one of my favorite figures. I keep it in there. Um. 
next to the big diorama. But like I said, I'm gonna have to back, uh, box this one up and, and give it to Dre McNeil. And then unbox that one, put another one together. Yep, there you have it. So let's go over the boxes now. Go ahead and turn this thing off. Slide it over here. All right, so if you look at the boxes, at the bottom corners, one, two, three, four, and five. So number one is the Tenkaichi Budokai, and you see the Goku figure there on the top. It comes with little Goku. Number two is the uh, Corn Tower, and that one comes with Corn and Piccolo, right there at the top corner. Number three, this one's the Kami Lookout, and this one comes with Vegeta. Number four is West City, and that one comes with Trunks. And number five is the Kami House, and that one comes with Krillin and Master Roshi. So yeah, even, man, even these boxes right here that I got from uh, Sasebo, they're in pristine condition. Um, take a look, they're like a, the open and tear type of uh, boxes. So once you open them things, man, it's like kind of destroyed. So what I do is with these types of boxes, if you want to, uh, some people don't really care for the boxes, but I, I do, especially uh, in the case where maybe you want to, you know, resell sometime down the road. I wouldn't ever want to resell this, but you know, you never you never know what happens. Times are tough. Um, but we open the bottom because the bottom is is glued, and then that way you can always glue it back together, and you don't have to tear any of the cardboard or anything like that. But there you go inside. As you can see, and I really hate tearing plastic apart but yeah everything is 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 complete so i might want to i don't know I, I'm, i'll i'll eventually put up uh end up putting it back to putting it all together but it's gonna be tough because i just i hate tearing tearing stuff apart i typically like to have a few brand new things and a few things that are used, maybe like one thing that's in the box and one thing that's outside of the box. So here is the way that it was displayed. And then that's the way that it's, that's how it's gonna look when it's folded up. So let's see if we can get it back to uh, looking like that. into the ball take a look at it Let's put a higher speed there we go so I did have a kind of a hard time folding the things back down but it's mainly because when you got like all the you got all the towers and stuff sticking out of the the Kami Lookout, they're like buttoned up against the other stuff in there. Um, I think if I took a little bit more time and kind of pushed them out of the way a little bit, 
or pulled them off and, you know, stored them, then wouldn't have such a hard time. But that's how it looks, man. And I think this thing should be stored the way that we started the video with everything open so that you can see the entire city or you can see all of the, uh, all of the five locations that it has. But overall, this thing is, is fire, man. I, I love it. I really, I, I wanted to keep two for myself, but honestly, there's absolutely no reason why I should have two. Um, so I figured why not let somebody else enjoy this thing uh, while I take the other one apart and put that together myself. All right, folks, so that was it. That was the Dragon Ball Panorama World uh, review. Not much of an unboxing, but it was a review. We took this thing from when it was fully opened and put together and uh, turned it into a Dragon Ball again. Placed all the pieces up top. It was really nice. Um, I think this is a piece that every Dragon Ball collector should have if you can get a hold of it. Uh, hopefully you guys can get it for a good price, but like I said right now, it's not, man, it's 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 a little pricey. And on top of that, it's, it's also pretty difficult to find. Um, I only know a few people that have it. But yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching me review this 2009 Dragon Ball Panorama World. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to have a couple more videos coming out soon. I got to do a, a review on of the Taki Shenron and the King Cold Tokyo Toy Festival. Um, but if you guys have any questions about this one specifically, go ahead and put them down in the comments. Um, if you uh, if you guys have any suggestions or anything for the next videos, I'm definitely open for it. I'm trying to get some more lights in here and stuff, and I definitely gotta get more shelves in my room because this room's getting real small as of lately. Um, but just want to remind you guys, I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet um, and you like the videos, please do so. Uh, if you like this video specifically, please hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment, even if it's just to say, hey, what's up? Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Smash Mob, little 10 out.